A tall picture changer. But you won't be able to move their bodies as much, yeah? But come over to health and safety. There's a lot of nasty stuff on here that you can get hooked up on. But what we'll do is we'll set it up, we'll just go to some basic dagger plays. We'll start off with first master. What you're gonna do is you're gonna attack. That's no, right. They're gonna attack, try stopping. Feel how it's different because they've got this on. It does feel different. Without doing much, if Bruno's not very strong, I can't get a disarm as easy because it locks up on his gauntlet. Have a play. They'll just come at you with gentle things, yeah? Try a couple of bits and pieces. Try a ligadura mess up. Try a ligadura mess up. Try a ligadura mess up. <laughs> yeah? See what I mean? It changes. experience in normal fighting is looking for a disarm yeah so anything that basically disarms stop this dagger being a functional weapon the second requisite of dagger is basically trying to break things yeah we're we'll doing vicky for example yeah breaking yeah smashing and breaking third requisite of dagger is getting into locks binds and keys and the fourth is then she's on the ground and standing on top of it yeah you've got a tank <laughs> yeah Try all the first requisites. Play on the hand only. You can't defeat this easily. So start with what you can do. So just try strips. Yeah? Try getting the dagger out. Do this. Don't come tanking it. No, tanking in literally. Don't come. You're not going to win. Yeah? You're not going to get the. Yeah, you're not going to do it, are you? So start off with first requisite of dagger. Have a play with that. And then we'll see if you can get any others. A bit yeah. So um, the main thing to think about is that every bit of it is a weapon. So as long, if I spend ages of this distance, I've got the threat of this, which is the threat anyway, if I'm unarmored, which is, if I'm unarmored 90% of the time, I'm going to lose. <laughs> you know, but you're not going to give up, are you? That's a weapon, that's a weapon, that's, every bit of it is a weapon. So what I don't want to do is spend too much time getting close. I want to try and do it all out here, where I can keep moving, keep moving. So then the strips we start to get are, yeah, on low at night. You know, but I'm, I want to be keep, I want to keep the edge here. I don't want to get too close to anything. Do you want me to show you a downward one? I'll show you a downward one. Yeah, that's good, I like that. So, obviously I'm in last chance saloon. If I'm unarmored and he's armored, I'm in last chance saloon, right? So, thrusting, you know, you go for the small of the hands, exactly like Fury says. We can get away with not doing that without armor on, but when he's got armor on, it's very hard. It's very hard to strip this out. So the small of the hands makes a lot of sense. And this is a downward attack. Two things. One, I have to cover it. But again, all of this is a weapon. It's going to hurt, potentially. Yeah. But the same principle applies. Yeah. I don't want to do it here because punch, punch, all of this spicy shit is not good for me. So it's the same principle. So you get yourself there. <laughs> it's the same principle, moving backwards, but this doesn't work anymore. But Fury's advice does through the small of the hands. And like I always say, just keep rotating, keep rotating. As long as I've got it in the end, you know, he's still all the weapon, but I've got something to hit the back. And that's that. <laughs> just gently uh, crash it. Sorry, just uh, stick it in. It doesn't do it, does it? So I've caught it, I don't want to get close. Binds, as you know, binds, middle binds, none of that's going to work. I can't move him. That, impossible. That's impossible. It's not going to work. So my, I'm just back to the first trip. It's not going to work, not going to work. Fury's advice through the small of the hands. And if he does manage to keep hold of it because it's a rondelle and that's what it's designed for, yeah, I'm going to keep moving back. I'm not going to let him catch up to me. Yeah? Exactly. <laughs> that, 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 that,
Right. Don't think about grabbing around the back of the leg. Grab his fucking there. Now he's pushing him there. Now he's going. <laughs> Use his armour against him. Yeah. I'm not going to get... Boy! <laughs> going to borrow you, Chris. So, grab hold of me. Right, fifth master. If you start pulling me... Right, great. Go. I'm not going to get the back of his leg, but you're going to get his pulley. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Does the same thing. Yeah. You've got something. You've got a big old thing. Yeah. Right, so you see how difficult it is, how it changes the game, yeah? It's hard, and we're obviously trying to do it unarmoured, which you would ideally not do. But it's the same for these guys. So if Ivan, for example, attacks Jason, he's got the same problem. In fact, he's got more problems because he's got gauntlets on. Try and do this now. Right, break! Break! Right, try it again, try. First master this arm. Can you hear me? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Still on me. You're staying from. Try another one. Try four. Try, try again to stab. Stab to the belly iron. Stab. Stab. Ready? He can't see anything, he's got even more problems than you had. He can't see anything, he's got gauntlets in the way. He cheated. Finger. <laughs> he refused his reaction. Brilliant. Yeah, he's not a finger. Right. But he's got even more problems than you had, yeah? And that's armoured fighting. So you've got a bit, it changes the game, you've got to be a bit savvy, yeah? So what we'll do now is, I want you to just get the guys there, sound like mannequins. Come here, I want to see if, how you find moving their bodies. Can you actually do anything against them? Yeah? Be careful, because if you manage to, you will hurt them. Yeah? Can you move them? Yeah? Have a go again. See how that changes the game. Yeah? So find yourself an armoured tank and just try and manoeuvre them around. <laughs> and you could, and then you're back there, maybe. But you're too big. You're too big for that. Strong key work. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, you can't get that round. You can't get it round, can you? Because the, cause the the plates. As soon as you try and do that, the plates just lock. You can't get that. Yeah. Oh, side throw. Side throw. Moving. <laughs> I'm going to get the armbar. <laughs> I'm going to put gouge myself on your arm a bit. Okay. So you kind of figured out at least one at one way. Um, remember, again, I'm, I'm in like last chance saloon. I'm unarmored. He's armored. But exactly. Whether I don't really want to be close to him ever. But if I'm there, where the head goes, the body follows. But you've got this nice, you know, sometimes you've got nice things to push around. But like with the fifth master, there's not much point in me going around here. Because, I mean, that's already started to hurt. It's a bit sticking into me that it shouldn't be. But the same principle applies. Where the head goes... Oh, OK, that's brilliant. <laughs> but where the head goes, the body will follow. It's so easy then. It's like a, it's a top-heavy tank. But when you guys are experimenting with the arms... I was just going to say, lift my visor up and then hold that tight and walk away down. Step back off. This way? Yeah, drop it to the ground. With this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. He's going to come back. He's going to come back. He's going to mention that in a minute. But with limbs, you know, thigh throws, okay? So, yeah, a thigh throw, it's not going to work. But a thigh throw with a head pump starting to stabilise. Right leg out, and he's a big dude as well, you know. He starts to work. When the head goes, the body follows. But all of that hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, the, the vice of Paul Mark's gonna do. <laughs> That's his favourite one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. Just make right, sure you don't make sure you make sure you don't get that on your head. <laughs> That's the best chance you've got. It's a cool yeah. <laughs>
That's what it's for. There you go. <laughs> that was his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Too fair though. Yeah, go for it, try I'm, it. Not, I'm not gonna actually punch you in the face yeah, with the shield. Try it, try it, try it. 10% or whatever. Nah, I'll try 90. <laughs> yeah, that was soft yeah. as well. Yeah, it's annoying. Do you not feel that? No, no, I can feel it. It's annoying. <laughs> it's, not, uh, it's not fatal. It's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> That was probably about 30 or 40. Uh -huh. I wouldn't like that at 100. Yeah, no, I don't I'm think not. It would knock me out. There's bits of shield in your uh, <laughs> in your breathing grill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Armour works. Yeah. And that's why it's off the shelf stuff isn't great because the stuff like this is it's designed to work with him. It's proper, isn't it? Because if you're upside down, you don't upside down. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel like I've got bored to do it then. What are you thinking? I don't know, I'm just thinking because you said you could do it a bit hot, harder. Yeah, if I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming in <laughs> Revenge. Yeah. So, they've got the same problem you've got manoeuvring the other person, yeah? So, for example, we'll let Ivan do it this time. Yeah? Do, do some Abazara or something on him, manoeuvre him around, see if you can get in there. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Right. Give it, give him a play. Give him first play of Abizara. Give him, give him something. Give him some. Yeah, give him a play. Right, off he goes. Right. Are you alright? Like What's problems with doing against armour? Name me someone's a problem. Anybody? Uh, the elbow. Elbow? You want to try doing an elbow? What, like pushing the elbow? Yeah, like. Yeah? Try doing an elbow push on. Or do you want to do it? Do <laughs> 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 you mean a break? Yeah. Like, you know, a break, yeah. Hyper extension, yeah. Hyper extension? Yeah. 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 Can you do it? Yeah. No, 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 he, we've done that. Ivan, Ivan, we've done that. Just Stop do it. Here, mate. We've done that already. Just do a normal. See if we can do a hyper extension. <laughs> no, it's a fair. No? What? Like, stop, stop. What? Anything else you've been having problems with? Look at Durham at Sana. Uh, just before we go into that, I, I, I know we've done it with a few people, but give a good arm iron. The arm bar, you're going to struggle to get any pain on them, just because the armour doesn't lock out. Yeah. But if you turn it into the Ligadora instead, where you're getting that turn and that rotation, you're getting this effect now. You're getting his head going down. You'll tap out if it starts going. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 That'll work. So you just change into the play that will work. Does that make sense? If you can get that rotation in, it works. If you're going for a straight arm bar, the armor won't let you do it. Because you're working the shoulder joint, you're not working the elbow. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, quick one on the Gadura, then we'll move on. You want to do on him, Jason? The Gadura. The Gadura Yeah. Hey. Yeah. That's all right, just say it up, give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> you can see they've got the same problems that you had. In some ways they've got more problems because they've got bits in the way again, haven't they, yeah? yeah? So, that's the point. It doesn't always work smoothly like it does when it's unarmed. Getting some armour on, even if we just get gauntlets on, it's a game changer, yeah? Once you get one of these main battle tanks, the analogy I've used before was, if it's a tank, you would take out his tracks, get behind him, take his tracks out, take his gun turret out, yeah, use the head, use what you can. He can't see anything now, yeah? We'll take the head on. But 
you don't have to be brutal dirty to get in there deep and everything but don't expect that all the finesse stuff to work a lot of it will be have to swap around techniques yeah it's worth having a play that was the point yeah one more point on that is know what the weak points of it are so it's really top heavy yeah so if you can get his head moving you know it's hard down, then the chance you might get it moving. If, just on that, there's actual play. This one, this. Yeah. Look how easy that is. Like Mark said, like the third If you get that head rotating and the leg behind, then it'll go, then it'll start working. Yeah. Um, but also things like using, using the bits to yeah. grab a hold of it. So, first master, Dagger. In there, when you're coming through, you're not going to grab that or push that, but you can grab that, and that gives you a good lever to your plate. Yeah. So you're using the armour against it as well. And same on the legs, you see. You're not going to get anything to the front. But around it, look, I've got a step. Yeah. He's actually given me a step that I can start climbing up and try and get behind him. If you can pull him backwards, yeah. And then what we've been doing yesterday with the cutting and everything. You've got a dagger to get into those soft areas. Yeah? Yeah. So as, <laughs> as we were just doing with you. Got, anyone else got a dagger? Give us a dagger. So, elbow push. Yeah. Easiest, most common play in the entire manuscript, isn't it? See an elbow pushing. What does that get you? It gets you around the back of him where all the openings start coming in. Even if you've got a breastplate, or if you've not, you're in there, you've got the neck, you've got the armpits, you've got straight in between the legs. All those are weak points, yeah? And you're out of vision. Yeah, even if you haven't got a dagger, again, grab the head, spade on, down. Yeah? There's not a lot, once somebody's round the back of you, there's not a lot you can do about that. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>